Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggett here representing Team JVS. I'm back again for another movie review. This is a Netflix movie, and the name of it is Enola Holmes. Yes, Holmes, as in Sherlock Holmes, as in Mycroft Holmes, because this is their younger sister. Now, um, I didn't know it at the time, but this is based on a character um, that was developed by the author Nancy Springer and I think it was between uh, 2001 to 2006 she's got like a whole series um, of Ella Enola Holmes mysteries um, and the funny thing is I mean there's a lot of backstory between that part of just this character and then the author Conan Doyle's um, I think it's like 1887's um, Sherlock Holmes mysteries um, where you have all these different characters like Lestrade and I mean the, th the funny thing is I love Sherlock Holmes personally anyway I've loved what the interpretation that um, was done from the BBC series I love what um, was done with the movie interpretations of it um, but this one was a very specific Holmes story because even though Sherlock Holmes is in this, even though Mycroft is in this one, the front and center is Enola. And I think that this probably caters more to the book series than anything. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of break it down so I can give you the gist of it. So in the very beginning of it, you get introduced to Enola, who's played by none other than Mealy Bobby Brown. And she basically is kind of just living with her mom. You get understanding that she does have these older brothers that are high tier, and her mom is trying to raise her. Like she's trying to show her the, the ropes, making sure she's reading, making sure she's taking care of herself, making sure she's understanding of the world around her, but also protecting her and shielding her within the house. And then on her 16th birthday, all of a sudden the mother just leaves. And it is up to Nola to figure out did the mother leave her own fruition or is there something else afoot and that's where we kind of go down the rabbit hole now the way that this is actually shot it's actually shot very well the cinematography and the visuals it is movie quality level of picture like it actually looks very pleasing to the eye um, and the in more interesting thing is that throughout most of the time Millie Bobby Brown in her interpretation of Enola she is lighting up the screen like every single scene she seems that she's engaged she's not like zoned out she seems like she's very natural in this role and she's also continuously breaking the fourth wall so she's always talking at us having eye movements in the mid conversation and it's very Guy Ritchie-esque certain moments um, but at the same time it's its own kind of track story because it's not like, you know, uh, Robert Downey Jr. where with his interpretation of Sherlock Holmes, like he's deciphering things and then he's like fighting multiple people. Like Enola very much still is a 16 year old girl. So it's like most of the time there's not a lot of physical altercations that happen unrealistically. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, I, I love that because it's not like throughout most of the, the picture she's fighting all these different things and like figuring all these kind of things a lot of times she's very vulnerable she she can take care of herself she's got deductive reasoning on the level of Sherlock Holmes she's very crafty but she's also very emotional she's also very caring she's very um, wholesome and loving but she very much so still is a Holmes and she was raised by her mother in a very specific manner but the whole point about this is her figuring out her expression of who and what she's gonna become outside of her brother outside of her mother and it's a very interestingly well paced movie. I actually had a lot of fun with it. And again, a big part of that is Millie Bobby Brown, she carries the film on a very interesting track. She's one minute, she's emotional, she's grounded. Another minute where she has to get physical, she very much so can do it. Um, I love all the detective side of this because there's a lot of times where they do play with a lot of VFX and trickery when it comes to like figuring out the mysteries of what's happening um, and I, I love that I love like you know filling out the gaps with deductive reasoning with cryptography with 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 science like I love the way they handled that in this one but on a smaller scale it wasn't like you know she she is a genius mind but she's not like 
doing these extravagant things either. Like she's doing, she's dealing with the hand she's dealt. A lot of times, like I think Millie Bobby Brown probably changed her wardrobe a total of like 10 times throughout this entire movie. It's, it's actually pretty interestingly funny. Um, but then you got Henry Cavill's playing the role of Sherlock Holmes. This is the first time, first time I've seen um, Henry Cavill in, I don't, I don't remember a scene where he actually had to get physical at all. Like this is not Sherlock Holmes movie. It's not his show. Um, but at the same time, Henry Cavill plays Sherlock Holmes to a T. Like he's very intellectual, he's very precise, um, he's very deductive, um, he's very reasonable and very brass. Um, and I think that he plays the role of Sherlock Holmes very well. Another thing I realized towards the second act of this movie, I was like, I actually kind of want more of this. Like I want more of this immersive world because Sherlock at this stage, he's not even with Watson either. And he's very young. I think there's like a uh, what eight year gap or maybe a little bit long, older than that. But in terms of another thing that I thought was very fascinating is uh, Sam uh, Cleflin playing the role of Mycroft. Because Mycroft is always, you know, he's the government agent, like, but he's supposed to be on the same tier or level uh, of deduction of Sherlock. And the funny thing about the way that he plays Mycroft he plays the older brother very well. Like, there was never a point where I felt like, you know, Henry Cavill's Sherlock was older than him. And it's weird because in real life, I think he's about like 34 and Henry Cavill is like close to like 37 or something like that. Um, but yet, he played the role very well. Like, he was very, like, really um, abrasive and just mean and like, um, he just seemed heartless most of the time. There was one moment with him and Lily Bobby Brown that took place in a cart, and it was very rough. Like it was, it was a very stern and like heartless scene. And I think that he executed it very well. Just like Henry Cavill had very um, emotionally resonant moments. And at the same time, throughout most of this, Sherlock is starting to understand what his mom is doing, what this all is about. And he's starting to change from the inside as well, as much as Millie Bob Brown's Enola is trying to come into her own. And it all centers around like this other thing that you're not seeing throughout the film, but it's there, it's there in the atmosphere if you can just pay attention to it. And um, who plays the mother is uh, Helena, I always never get her, her last name correct, um, Bonningham, I think that's the middle national, uh, Carter. Um, and she plays the mom very well. She plays uh, Mrs. Holmes pretty well. Um, who else is in this? Is, I think uh, Fenard Charles in it from Killing Eve, um, as well as uh, Byrne Gorham. So Byrne Gorm, Gorman in this one, he plays the role of this kind of this hitman. And he kind of, for the most part, is like the antagonist and the person is trying to deflate what uh, um, Enola is trying to do, who she's trying to protect, what she's trying to do most of the time. Um, and I think that he's kind of one note, like it wasn't anything more to him other than just kind of being like an obstacle for Enola. Um, but I think he plays the physicality roles pretty well, like he barely speaks, I think. To me personally, like it was kind of like a, I don't know, like I felt like they could have got anybody to kind of play that role, but he actually is a decent actor. Like he actually could do well with dialogue. Um, and again, there's a lot of other characters in this one, but the other person that works hand in hand with um, Neely Bar Brown is uh, Lewis Partridge plays the role of the Lord um, Twigsbury. Now. I don't want to reveal anything about this as a non spoiler review, but I think that he does a decent job. I think that he works well. They, Him and uh, Millie have pretty good chemistry, and I think at first I was kind of like, I don't see it, but progressively certain things start to change, and it kind of works out. But again, with him in the very beginning and with him in the third act, it kind of was a little like fluffy. 
Whereas most of the scenes with Millie Bobby Brown, I think were just amazing and funny and engaging and just like, I was kind of like, yo, she's not that she's unstoppable because she does have moments where she fails. She does have moments where she falls and she does have moments she gets hurt emotionally or physically. And I love that. I love that she's not just perfect, that she has it all together. She does it. And I think that that's what, where Millie Bobby Brown, she excels in this role because she embraces all of that. And I think that that's what makes this a story that I would be curious to see where it goes moving forward. So as far as a review number for me, I give this no less than an 8 out of 10. I would give it an actually 8.5 out of 10 because there wasn't too many things I had issue with other than, you know, it was really small tier. This was something that I wouldn't watch necessarily in the movie theater. I think that young, young girls would love it. Um, I think that, you know, families would kind of go and be like, oh wow, this is actually pretty fun, this is wholesome. Um, but I think that this was made and designed for a large audience, you know what I mean by that, um, at home. And I think that Netflix is the perfect platform for it. And I definitely recommend you guys to go and check it out as soon as you can. Um, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Um, it's decent amount of action, it's very smart, um, it's pretty engaging and it's, it's heartfelt on different levels. And when you can have a character like Sherlock Holmes um, played by Henry Cavill who really has emotional resonance without really saying much and a character like Enola and played by Millie Bobby Brown that is relatable, funny, and at the same as that time wholesome as well, I think you have grounds for something that should continue moving forward. But again, I don't want to go and harp on this anymore. Just go and check it out yourself. I'll talk to you guys later on. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Peace, guys.